Welcome to Take a Minute. I'm Noemi, and in these stressful times, I'm here to share some tips with stay-at-home moms, working moms, and everything in between moms. In this week's Take a Minute, let's talk about phishing and email. Phishing and email. Cyber cries are on the rise, and phishing is one of the most popular methods used. Many do not know what phishing is or how to protect themselves from becoming a victim. Here we will explore some of the guidelines to help you spot this common form of deception that is linked to your email. First off, what is phishing? Phishing is the fraudulent practice of sending emails purporting to be from reputable companies in order to induce individuals to reveal personal information such as passwords and credit card numbers. Think before you click. The first step is to be aware of the many forms of phishing that are in practice today. Also, keep informed about phishing techniques. Every day, new phishing scams are being developed. Keep your eyes on the news about new phishing scams. This is especially important when reading your email. Think when checking your email. When receiving random te emails, text messages, or even robocalls, be aware of links, attachments, or call forwarding. Often, these will lead to a third party that will claim to be contacting you on behalf of a legitimate company and will want your personal information. When in doubt, go directly to the source. These links may look exactly like the company's website, but they are not. The email will ask you to fill in your information, but it will not contain your name. Double check the link by hovering over, but not clicking on, the link to see it see the source. If it looks suspicious, do not click on it. How to spot suspicious emails and phishing scams. Example number one. The message is sent from a public email domain. The top tip, look at the email address, not the sender's name. No legitimate organization will send an email address that ends in at Gmail, not even Google. And the second tip, if the domain name matches the apparent sender of the email, the message is probably legitimate. For example, you receive an email from PayPal, but the sender of the email looks something like this, paypal at notice-access.273.com. A genuine email from PayPal would have the organization's name in the domain name located after the at sign, not before. It would look something like this, zeverhart at paypal.com. Example number two, the domain name is misspelled. Domain names can be bought by anyone from a registrar. Even though domain names have to be unique, criminals are tricky and can create addresses that are very similar to reputable ones that are being spoofed. So read carefully. Example number three, the email is poorly written. Poorly written emails are often an indication that the emails were written by someone who uses English as their second language. Individual words may be spelled correctly, but the message is full of grammatical errors as well as phrases and expressions not commonly used in English. Safety tip. Take the time to verify the source of the email. Example number four. The message creates a sense of urgency. Most of us are almost always under time constraints. Scammers rely on us being too busy to fully examine an email with due diligence. When we take the time to fully examine an email that asks us to reply immediately or our service will be canceled, we may find that the email is not as it appears. For more information, visit our website at www.mcallenlibrary.net for a list of books available for checkout at the McAllen Public Library. And this is Take a Minute. This has been Take a Minute. I'm Noemi with the Palmy Branch Library asking you to take a minute to take care of yourself, 
so you can take care of your family.